Good morning, everybody. Been a little while since we've gone live. It's uh, been kind of a busy couple weeks. Went camping and stuff with the family over the weekend. Plus, it's deer season, so been uh, been out hunting a little bit last few days. Uh, so yeah, had had a lot going on. It's been kind of hard to hard to have service and everything, uh, and been away from the house so haven't really been playing a whole lot but got the new update installed the other day uh, i logged on last night for just a few minutes and kind of ran around the map didn't really shoot anything uh but we're gonna we're gonna try to hunt the she devil area this afternoon or this morning and we'll see if we can't find some sheep maybe some goats and elk i don't know let's see what we get into i'm gonna just set a marker up here try to unlock these question marks and uh we'll go from there so Well, plans might have changed. Sounds like there's an elk right behind the lodge that I didn't see before we headed out. So let's go take a look and see if we can't uh, can't maybe get a shot at them. Oh, yep, there they are right there. Are they running? Nope. Let's go ahead and switch guns so I don't forget. Front actually looks like a pretty nice bull. I know, maybe not. Let's test something out here. We'll see if we're in range for the <whistles> collar to work. I was doing this the other night. It was kind of fun to, to actually call some stuff in. I think I called in three or four different elk that night. Let another one loose here. That'll help us know which ones are our smaller bulls, at least. If there are any small ones in there. I don't know if he's coming to the call or if he's just wandering. That little bumping thing on the binoculars is new. One star adult. He might be coming to the collar. Yeah, he's definitely coming into the call. Okay, I don't like that, like, bump thing that's going on. That's like a new thing since the update. How far is that? Ones. That ought to work. Nope, I don't want that marker. There we go. I think I see him running out across there. Yep. He's stumbling. There we go. Alright, well, that didn't take long. Uh... It's kind of crazy how that stuff works, because last night I played for... About an hour, hour and a half. I didn't even see an animal. I was just kind of running around unlocking different outposts and stuff on the map, but.
Oh, hang on, getting a call from the wife.
All right, we're back. Sorry about that. A little like jumping thing through the binoculars is kind of annoying. I don't know why it started doing that, and it doesn't on the rifle scopes too, which is kind of a big deal. Here, let me check something. Where are the collar perks? There we go. So we're at six of ten, which isn't bad. We're getting there. Got some mountain goat tracks. I think up to this point I've only shot like one mountain goat, so I wouldn't mind getting into some of those either. Got some elk up here. Sunny, I said we're going on a sheep and goat hunting, and all we're hunting right now is elk. Oh, that there's spooked. Dang. Okay, well. Let's see here. kind of keep following them I did switch it back over to the unit regular uh, yardage units instead of the metric system I'm just more familiar with it and I figure it doesn't really matter that much like it doesn't bother me to have it a difference of a ten yard zero or something. That's some kind of zone. Wind is good. I really don't know how we spooked those out.
I did forget that I have a mission to shoot a young adult and a mature elk. So we might try to shoot a young one. It'd be nice maybe shoot a cow. I don't really want to shoot a young bull because who knows what they could turn into. There we go. I might try to rip a bugle and see if we can get a if we can get a young low fitness male to come in that would be ideal but if not we'll try to pop a cow I did get the adult and the mature out of the way already so Should be like right on the other side of that hill. Try to cut up this way a little bit so the wind is even better. I don't think it's too much of an issue right now, anyways, but. Someplace out on top up there. Don't see them, but I know they're there. Well, there was a young cow, so we at least know we've got... Oh, oh shit. Spooked him again. I heard was super spread out. There were some over here at like 100 yards. That sucks. Try to get up here to this point, see if we can see out across there and see where they stop. And we'll kind of know. They should be about to stop, I would hope. Ooh, that's not what I wanted. Hmm. Don't see anything, but that's not saying much. Pretty thick where they ran into. So maybe we can't find something else cool while we're at it.
Trying to stay up high. Where the heck did they go? I'm sure they didn't run up that far. I figured they're gonna be right here in this group of trees somewhere. Interesting. Well, I guess let's just keep on heading the direction we were kind of heading. <clears throat> Maybe we'll hear him again. I guess we could try this and see if we don't get one to call back. Be nice if one would just call back and have a direction to go.
I got no idea. Oh well. Onward. Let's take a look at the map here and see. Yeah. Looks like we're going to stay to the right of that mountain, kind of. <clears throat> I would like to get up high so we can see down into some of this stuff, but we'll have to see if it'll let us go up there. They must have went up that way. I think by now I'd have caught up with them. Oh, maybe not. Maybe we're on to him. How far is it to that? 70, so they should be about 200 yards on the other side of that hill. We got two of them making noise. 218 yards. I don't know if I want to go down that way or not. If I want to try to go up and shoot down. Or. Let's try this out. Maybe we can bring one up over the top to us. Oh, we got one alerted. Just gonna hold still and take a look. Can't actually see him. Oh, there's one. Adult female. Let's try to let another beetle loose since we're kind of up on top here. How are we alerting them when we're this far away? The wind is good.
I wish they weren't standing in those trees. I could see them. Oh, there we go. I got a, a bull chuckling. He's calm. That's great. Oh, and he's coming in. Coming in hot. Unfortunately, that's a mature. I don't know if I want. I want to shoot him because he is a low fitness, mature male. But I also want to complete that mission and get a a young one. Let's see here. Maybe there's another one coming. Still moving. Be nice if there's one more like would walk out over there. It's definitely Bugling animations are actually pretty cool. Me, oops. We're just gonna go ahead and take him from here, I think. Oh, maybe. What's he doing? Oh, no, 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 no. Come back. Why did you run? Just because I quit Bugle and he stopped coming in. far is that 115 okay so we are going to slow crouch and if our bull comes back over the hill we'll shoot him I think you have to be about 200 meters out to get the calls to work give or take Okay, well, we got him calling back again at least. Did we spook him? Oh no. Maybe we did. Yeah, somehow we spooked him. Damn it. There's only the one that seems spooked. Normally you'd see a lot of tracks and or a lot of the things running off there's only the one 
And it was one male, so maybe we didn't spook the whole herd. Figure out where our waypoint's at so we're not getting too far off track. I have no idea. I don't think they're here anymore because I think they're right on the other side of that little hill. Let's walk out of here on this point, see if we can see something. They claim to have an 800 meter render distance, but it does not seem to be the case. Keep it moving, I guess. I don't know why we're having such a hard time tracking that one herd of elk. I've seen some videos online of guys shooting like a thousand yards, and I don't know how they're getting shots that far, because my game, well, I guess that technically is rendered in at a thousand. But a lot of times I get, like right there, it's like frozen. But that, like it won't pick up anything further. But now I can actually range that hole. I don't know.
last week for work we got to go do a range inspection of a shooting range here in South Dakota and they have targets I think I said all the way out to 2700 yards but we were shooting they let us shoot out to 1800 so I can officially say I've hit a target at over a mile which was pretty cool oh boy don't die don't die don't die okay Whew. that was close Got some sheep tracks, which is what we're actually looking for. Either a sheep or a mountain goat would be cool. I just have a feeling this is going to end badly. We're going to walk all the way up here and then we're going to fall off a damn cliff or something. Yeah, see like there, we're only ranging out to 742 yards. It doesn't want to render in the rest. Even though I can clearly see all the way out to there. And you can see, like, right here's where it's going to clip out. 920, 930, and then it's just gone for the rest of the way up. Hmm. We're in a bad spot. We're probably about to fall to our death. Maybe not. Oh boy. Yep, there it is. We did. Dang it. Yeah, I lost consciousness. Whatever. Oh, and it spawns us all the way back here. Okay. I didn't remember that. I thought it just took you to the nearest lodge. Okay, well, let's try that again. Uh, we're going to do something different this time. We are going to fast travel to this cabin. Take a quick peek around the lake. Oh, I see why we probably didn't see those elks. Probably those bushes are standing right on their side of them earlier. Okay. Walk down here, get us a Jeep, and we are going to drive instead of walk. Oh, 
Those elk came back. Well, that's not exactly how we wanted to kill a sheep. Watch, this is going to be like a 99% fitness. 89.5, yep. Oh, that kind of sucks. <laughs> oh, well. At least we got a, got a dollar out of him. I don't know what to do here. Whether we should just keep on driving because we scared the hell out of them or what? That's been cool. It's like a waterfall. Must be what the waypoint up here is for. I'll keep falling the river. We'll probably pick up another drink zone or something. close enough now for it to count because I don't think I'm going to be able to get up on top of this rock at least from this side okay let's uh, move our marker over here we'll go check this spot out Seems like I, this is the best way I've found to kind of shoot animals and 
find different stuff is just go explore the map and it kind of helps to find need zones, helps to find animals while you're out walking around. And it also gives you kind of a target to go to instead of just like, I'm just going to walk this river the whole way down. So. This might be another echo location or whatever. Oh boy. Oh, it's a campsite. Cool. I did not know this was up here. I don't really know what the point of the hunting maps is. I thought it was to get, uh... To show you where all these markers are at, but... It doesn't seem to be the case. Alright, let's, uh... Let's head down this way. It's actually probably a pretty good spot to have a camp. Okay, we got some more elk out here. And they seem to be running straight away from us, which is good. Because that's where we're trying to go anyways. to the right. Actually, let me see here. Let me mark that spot. Where I saw him last, and then that way we know when we're getting close and need to kind of drop down. And It doesn't seem like animals will run more than about 500 yards when they're spooked, so if you spook them at 100 and they get out to 320, 330, whatever it is, and you're normally kind of getting getting close to where they're going to stop. 
I say that and then we lost the same herd about four times, so I don't really know what I'm talking about, I guess. said we were going sheep hunting it seems like all we've been hunting is elk we did kill one sheep but on accident with the truck so I will say this game is definitely best played with a headset. Uh, if you are playing it without one, it'd be a good idea to pick one up. I play sometimes, like when the wife and kids are home, I'll just play on the TV without my headset on. That way I can hear what's going on better with them. But like when I when I'm able to play by myself, it is way better with a headset. straight up. I don't know. It looked like they were curving off to the right there, but you'd think I'd be able to see them someplace. I see 400 yards that way. Okay. We might be in business. That was pure luck that I saw that. We're going to look and see if we've got any big ones to start. If we can spot them up here. I'm going to try to get to this big rock and then hopefully I can see them from there. If we've got any big males, we'll shoot that. It's our first priority. Then we're going to try to call them and see if we can't get a young male to come in. There's a female, adult male, one star, mature female, adult male, calm. How far are they? 240. I think we are in business. This is what I like to do is if I can get close enough to see them at a distance or get them out in the open. Right, 200 and closing. I just get up here to this little point. I should be able to see the whole herd, hopefully. Watch, there will not be any young elk in it. Oh boy. Okay, calm.
mature female. Oh, that actually looks, that's a three star mature. Two star mature. That one. One star mature. Mature female, mature female. There are a lot of bulls in this herd. Adult male, mature female. I think that's the whole group. So there's one pretty decent one, but... Adult female, mature female. All right, let's rip a bugle and see if we can't separate them out a little bit. Because it's not looking like there's any young. Okay, we got a second here, let's see. Okay, so we've got an adult male, an adult male coming in. That's a mature, two star mature, three star mature. Adult female. Okay, so the one, they are both adults, it looks like. Let's bugle back to them here. I can't believe there's not one even young cow. That one's coming too. I think that's the one we want to shoot, is the one in the back. Oh, what is that? I don't, okay. Okay, let's... Let one more rip so they don't lose interest while we get our gun out. Let's see here, 300. Okay, how far is that? One, oh man, that's pretty much dead on our zero. That should be a heart shot. He ain't going far, I don't think. Oh no, don't you crash on me, game. Okay. Whew. Yeah, he's already down. Cool. There's another one of our called bulls, so that's good. Those are our two small bulls. So let's let's kind of keep an eye on where they go. Maybe we can get another one with our collar. Get another low fitness male out of the herd. Oh shoot, they already stopped. How far away is that? 400? They're coming back. Man, I don't know what the heck they're doing, but... Another elk bugle somewhere. How far is that? 380. So let's just let's just kind of mark. There's yeah, they're stopping up there. Perfect. If we can get up here to where we can pick up our bull, then maybe we can. Oh, what is that one doing? Well, hang on a minute. Is he calm, too? Yep. Let's get our bugle back out. Maybe we can call him in, too. I think he's coming. 
Maybe not. He's right at 200, so I don't know if the bugle was enough to get there. Let's lay down. We'll let another one rip. Let's kind of crawl up here just a little bit closer. Let's see what he's doing. How far is he? Right at 190. Where'd he go? Oh, okay, there he is. Let's get our bugle back out. Along here. There was two adults coming in. That were low fitness. He must not be one of them. But the other ones went like right up here. Two twenty. Slow walk up. keep on bugling because I feel like we're, we might be in range for them to come in this is kind of weird they just ran around on top of this rocky area I'm not complaining about it but I want to go pick that one up, but I also want to get another one, so. I think he's going to come right over this hill if we just sit here and wait for him. How far away is that though? Like, is he going to... It's 40 yards to that rock. I don't know if I should even bother crawling or just kind of stay where I'm at. don't like where I'm at because I can't see. Pretty much right down there where we shot that other one at, that one that just bugled. Try to keep him interested here. 109 yards, of course I'm right behind this freaking rock. 
I don't think I made my situation any better. Oh, there he is. Okay, let's let one more bugle go. Don't move. Okay. Oh, we dropped him on the spot. Cool. Well, dang, that was easy. Well, not really, but... Okay, now let's watch the herd and see... Oh, why did you go way up there? Let's see about their general direction, because they're heading towards our waypoint anyways. We might be able to get another one out of that herd. There was three males coming into the bugle, so... Let's take a look at this one. Oh yeah, heart shot. Sixty-one yards. Yeah, we drilled the heart. Was he like in mid bugle when we shot or something? Yeah, that's kind of cool. Forty-three percent. Since we lost five pounds of meat, I don't really know how, but whatever. It's not bad. <clears throat> okay, now let's head down this way. And our other bull should be laying right over here somewhere. Because he didn't run far either. Yeah, there's a massive amount of blood on the ground right here. And this one should have been the mature. Got another heart shot there. We must have just barely clipped the top of it with him. Lungs, and then yeah, just got the top of the heart, buried it right in there. Was pretty much split him in half. The bullet, like, barely clipped the right lung. It's kind of cool. Yeah, the bullet barely clipped the right lung on its way in, but most of everything was caused by the shock wave of the bullet. We could put it right through those arteries, too. That explains why he didn't go very far. One star mature, 42%. That's the kind we want to kill. Well, we either want to kill those or we want to kill really big ones. I was tempted to shoot that three-star mature, but he might have potential still to grow. So, And this is actually a pretty good area to hunt him in up here. Let's kind of ease our way down here. Because they probably didn't run too much further than down here. Let's increase our zero back out to 150. All right, so for a sheep hunt, we're killing a lot of elk, but that's what we're seeing, so. And I can't really complain if they're gonna like just run around and stop and come right back to where I shot the first one at.
some suspicious looking stumps down there. Look like they ran down this way. I don't know if they went down to the left or if they stayed up high. But we gotta go down this way anyways to get to our marker, so that's where we're gonna go. We spooked them. They went down to the left, but and they do appear to be running out into the open, though. Well, kind of. I just saw one right up there. going. Is it supposed to be like a hot spring or something? Devil's Thumb Spring, okay. Alright, let's see here. Two of them right together, right there. Let's try to go check these two out. Exploration marker. And we're going to basically turn around and head back up here to this trail. Let's also check to see what kind of progress we're making, or if we made any progress. Yep. So, with one more, or two more animals, we'll get the second level calls unlocked. Which will be good. They're kind of... The elk call is about the only one that I like early on, because at least it serves a purpose. You can call low fitness males in and help cull your herd, but most of the other ones just called uh, females in. That So that doesn't really benefit me all that much. I still carry them just so that I can try to level it up and I will shoot a doe or whatever for, for a deer I don't mind but I don't I don't think anybody has really figured out yet what the different like ratios of animals to kill are to get good herd genetics like for because you have to you should kill females as well from what I'm guessing but 
how do you know which ones? Like, should you always try to shoot mature females, or should you always try to shoot adults? Like, and there's no real way to tell, but females have genetics too, so that. Does that play a role in the herds? I, I don't know. I doubt they went that deep into it, but... I've only seen that one group of bighorn sheep, and it was in like the low country. I keep thinking we're going to get into them, but every time we get up to where we should be seeing sheep, we're seeing elk, so... And deer, apparently. Hmm. I'm debating on whether to try to go up on top or to go down and around the side. If I go up on top, I'm probably going to fall off a cliff.
Oh god. This looks like a good place to see something, but... I'm thinking we might have been better off going over the top. Because we ain't going to be able to get across there. I thought we were stuck in a tree. Maybe we can get up here. Come on now. There we go. This seems like it would be a good place to see a sheep or a goat. But I don't see anything. Mm. We do not want to go down that way, I can tell you that. Looks like a massive hole in the ground. Hey, there we go. Looks like we've got another campsite, maybe. Got some bear tracks. Oh no, nope, not a campsite. A mine. Oh, it is a campsite. Okay.
I wonder where this goes. Now, how in the hell did this tree get back in here? Okay, I guess that's it. That was a waste of time. Here I was hoping for something cool. Okay, well, we got a campsite out of that deal, so that's good. I guess we'll cut over to this spot next. Gotta try to try to get a two-star moose at some point too I don't know why I'm having such a hard time with that but I just don't find a lot of moose and usually the groups that I do find are like small herds of two or three moose and there's like two females and one one-star male or something like that I did find a four-star but it's on the private land so I need to I'm trying that I'm trying to unlock so it doesn't really do me a lot of good to shoot him I've got a couple of lower level moose that I'm hoping like one star youngs that I'm hoping will grow up maybe here after we get to this waypoint we'll head over there and see if we can't find one because it's been a few days since I've checked on them I don't know exactly how the aging system works because waiting for an animal to age four to seven years like I ain't playing this game probably for that long I can imagine it'll lose its flair after a year or two but then again I still play Call of the Wild sometimes and that game's five years old so who knows but if an animal takes four to seven years real time to age there ain't no way I'll be able to wait him out. A bear track. Elk all over this mountain.
some more bear tracks. I also only need one more bear. For that. That story mission. Got some kind of a zone here we'll pick up. That's good. I don't really have anything in this area. I'm guessing it's probably elk. Oh, white-tailed deer. Okay. That was not what I was expecting, but we'll take it. Oh, and we're stuck in a tree. Luckily, that does work sometimes. Had other times where it doesn't work to get out of a tree, but Where are you at? Okay, I know I just heard an elk bugle. I'm not crazy. high and see if we can't see one down in here. Okay, bear trap cave. Cool. Let's try to get out here on this rock. Oh, there we go. Got him. Try to just creep up here to this 
big rock. If we can get up on top of it, maybe we can see out across there and see where they're at. They're bugling like crazy. We're under 200 yards, so we need to start being kind of cautious. I'd like to get up here where we can spot them and see if we can pick out either a nice bull or a young cow or a young bull with low fitness, one of the three. Don't you go away. I want to see exactly how far out I am still. Good wind. This ledge must drop off over here. Let's go ahead and start crawling. Got to work on that perk too, so. I don't know if there's anybody that's completed the like crawl seven kilometers perk yet, but. If so, they almost have to be cheating because it is so slow moving like this. Although I have been known to do that, to lay down and set up the auto walk thing and let it just crawl like if I have to step away from the game for a couple minutes to do something. Just out on a flat piece of ground. Maybe they were over this edge. How far away is that tree? 70?
How did they get up above us? This is really throwing me off because now there's a bull down there at 220 yards, but that cow was calling from up here. I don't really know what to do. I guess we'll go to the last place we heard him. Oh, sh shoot. All those ones are spooked. Dang it. We never even got to see them. Two twenty, two seventy-five. Oh shit! There's one right there. Okay, there's an adult female. And they kind of boogied out everywhere. Try to get up here on top of this rock and see if we can see them. Probably not, it's probably too thick, but we'll find out. Oh, come on, you can get up on top of there. There we go. Oh, actually. It's not as thick as I thought over there, but I still can't see them anywhere. Maybe that was two, like, separate herds or something. I don't know. I'm super confused on which way they went.
Hmm. Well, that sucks. Yeah, a couple of options here. Let's let's go to this because I'm pretty sure that this is going to be a campsite. So we'll start making our way down that way. And then that way we'll have a fast travel point someplace up in this general area. We'll do some running. Since we already spooked everything off this mountain anyways. Nope. Well, I say we already spooked everything and then... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. It's weird that it's showing a calm one down there. But then all the other ones are spooked heading off this way. Let's go this way and see if we can't maybe get sight of these ones. And if we can't, we'll try to go that way and see if we can't find that one. This one dang fly is buzzing around me. We scare a lot of animals in this game that we never even see. And tracking isn't like super difficult, but trying to follow the sounds it gets confusing because it's like you can only hear them out to a certain distance, and if they kept going, you don't really know, which is realistic, but still. some kind of a zone around this lake. More bear tracks. got a deer. I think that's a deer. A couple of them. Let me throw a marker on them. It's kind of hard to tell. It's so dark in the trees. It might be elk. I think they are elk. like an elk in the back. We've got at least two of them marked. Who knows how many there actually are over there. If we can get down, we'll walk right down here to this, to the edge of this lake, hopefully, and then we'll, we've got here, just 
Had a bear drink zone, that's good. Don't you walk off. No, stay up there. We'll get down to about 300 and then we'll start crouching. And there are zones all over this lake. Got white tail, bears, deer, mule deer, a little bit of everything. Okay, now we'll start crouching because we're under 300 from where we saw him last. Bear tracks. I think if I can just get up on top of this little hill here, I can probably see him. Which, how far is that? 80? I'll put us about 200 out. And we can let loose with a bugle and see what we can find. complete opposite direction that we're trying to go, but that's okay. At the end of the day, the game is about shooting animals. It's not way of the hiker. Okay. Start creeping. If we just get eyes on a young female, we're going to shoot her. Actually, let me check that mission real quick. Yep, doesn't matter. It'll be a bull or a cow. I just wanted to make sure it didn't have to be a bull. Is that 167 okay let's I'm getting a phone call here Imagine that my car warranty is about to expire. Oh, there's another one. Just barely see it. Oh, it, oh, that's a bull. Can't tell what he is though. Where did he go? The heck? I swear he was right there. Oh, there's, okay, there's a bull. I don't know if that's the same one we just saw or not. Oh, 
there's another one. What is that? Oh, come on, start spotting stuff. What are you? It's a two star, so that's probably not a young. Oh, there's a cow. Adult male. Adult male. At least two cows right there. Mature female. Mature. That bull is looking at us. Oh, don't run. No, 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 don't run. Oh, there's a tree right there. Okay. Well, that was lucky. Stumbled right into a need zone. I got elk all down through here. Problem is, I cannot spot them. Like where that one's at, he is in a terrible spot. Oh, we got, well, okay. We got that one coming in. Okay, that was weird. Oh, what the heck? Okay. How far is that? A hundred? Oh, I hate this because I'm pretty sure we got another one coming in on the left, but... No, 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 no. Okay, he's coming back. At least I thought he was. Let's just take this bull. Okay, I did. don't think I hit him at all. I must have hit a stick or something. That looked like a wide open shot. I like I should have at least been able to shoot through that brush, but... He didn't flinch, didn't do anything, so... Well, that sucks. I don't feel like that shot... Like, shooting a, a little tiny limb like that should warrant a complete miss. Like, the bullet would not stop because of that. Let's just try to keep after him. It's pretty.
proven harder to kill a young elk than I thought it would. I figured that would be the easiest one, like get the mature and get the adult out of the way. But... Got some other kind of zone over here. Pick that up on our way. Another deer zone. We should be catching up with them if they went way at all really I thought I saw something move over there maybe I'm crazy whatever onward kind of sucks still have yet to figure out how the hitboxes on this game actually work because like in that situation that shouldn't have affected the shot at all but there's other stuff like you just walk right through bushes and trees and stuff so it's like is there really a hitbox there or not and like and like this tree I shouldn't be able to walk through but apparently it'll stop a bullet Oh, we just passed by something. We're gonna appear and check out what that was real quick. Probably a hunting stand, but if I'm gonna walk right by it, I might as well get it. Oh no, this is a, t a camp, I think. Usually the camping spots have the little fences around them. Which, this would actually be a really good campsite to have, because there's a lot of zones right in this area. If that's what it is. Which it is. Cool. Okay. So we unlock that. That's cool. What's over here? Some kind of tracks. Bear tracks? Yep. I can't believe we missed that elk just now. That was stupid. He's standing perfectly broadside at 150 yards, and we couldn't even hit him.
some wolves. Can't tell which way they're going. See if we can't get up here to this waypoint and then look back down across the lake. Maybe we can see them running out. Midnight Pine. All right. Okay, well, we got quite a bit, actually. We traveled a lot. We went all the way up through here, all the way around here, down, down. We haven't even actually been to this area before today, so that's kind of kind of nice. We got to check out something new. But I think that's going to wrap it up for today. We got $10,000 saved up, so almost enough to get our last gun. And then beyond that, we have one more scope to unlock, and then we'll have everything in the game unlocked until they add more content, which will be kind of nice. Uh, that way we just bankroll our money for taxidermy and for whatever new content comes out. But thanks, for everybody, for watching in. Uh, we're going to probably sign off there and call it a day. i got some errands. i got to run around town. So have a good one, and thanks for watching.